Welcome to the journey of self. This is your coach Mehnal Sanjit. In this series, we will be embarking on a journey together with an intention to help you take one step closer to your best self. This series is designed is designed to help you overcome your obstacles that are holding you back from living your best life. So let's get started. In our session today, the title of our session is two key questions did you ever wonder what's the driving force our decisions or the choices we make yes of course there are external factors but there's one key element that drives us most of us in fact to choose or to make decisions any guesses guesses Okay, let me share it. It's our feelings and our emotions at play. In our session today, I would share with you how a story, basically it's a story from my own personal an event where these two key questions rescued me when I was amidst a wrong choice and a decision that I took and had which had really costed me a lot of money and also precious time this a month ago during one of my meetings with our counterpart in italy i was over a zoom call and we were working on a particular marketing assignment but i was experiencing a lot of issues in connecting with this team because it was a because it was a crucial project that i was working on however the laptop that i was using to connect was somehow giving me some issues and as a result i got disconnected in just in the middle of the call it was a huge it was a huge embarrassment for me and for good 3 hours i could not do anything so the meeting went without me and it was amidst those people and some other team members but i was only one not there struggling here in my space to connect but i couldn't now this embarrassing situation triggered a sense of urgency inside me it was so frustrating that i decided that i want to throw away my machine my computer and buy a new one and i exactly did that so the first st instance of my impulsive buying where this particular event that triggered emotions of embarrassment or frustration which led me to do an impulsive buying so the very next day i just went ahead and directly from the company i purchased a new laptop ideally i should have done a bit of research to understand what exactly is my need in terms of technical uh, sense the configuration the power also to understand that if the camera or during the not working i didn't do any research i just simply went and i thought maybe a new machine with a first class camera is all i need to get going on in my life and that's exactly what i did but to my horror when i got the another the new laptop to me i realized the camera was not really at par nothing worked it was exactly the same thing that i was working with with my old computer now this led me to a complete halt because i had just squandered 55000 and purchased a new laptop when i requested the company to replace it with a new machine or refund me the amount and i explained them my reasons they explained me, which i completely agree with them that if there was a ma- manufacturing defect in the machine is only when they undergo these um, replacements or refund now the machine which i had in my hand had none of it so they said we are sorry we cannot do any of it the emotions of the emotions of embarrassment now 
had an additional emotions of anger, disappointment and frustration. At one end, I wanted a new machine with the A-class camera. On the other end, I had just purchased a 55K laptop with the same, the same camera technical aspects or I should say technical settings. So I was in a fix and I realized this was all an account of the emotions that were at play which were leading me into one error to another. Key questions which came to my rescue in this whole ordeal were this. Why do I want this and why does it matter? Friends, sometimes we are so hijacked by our emotions that regardless of who we are, regardless of our experiences, our experiences, our emotions sometimes regulate us into things and into behaviors which are very unlikely of us. In my case, while at one end as a coach, as a therapist, I help people resolve the most, the most complex of issues. The other end, my one impulsive buying decision had put me into a very difficult situation. So when I took a pause and I reflected, it's only when I read the journal prompts, which I picked up from my own journal, to ground myself and also to find a solution, is when I realized when I sat back, reflected and started to write the answers for it, what I just ended up doing. So I wrote my, so I wrote my impulsive wrong choice of purchasing a laptop without any due consideration. And to that, I answered these two questions. Why do I want this? And why does it matter? It gave me so many insights. It helped me and filled me with a lot many aspects that I was completely blind to so far. And not just that, it also gave me a small tip while I was writing my thoughts. Along with the tip, an idea, how the tip, an idea, how I could sell off the wrong choice or the wrong laptop that I had purchased, which I eventually did. And thankfully, I also got a buyer for it. At the same time, it pointed towards the emotions and feelings which were at play, which led to this series of events. So sometimes when we try and complicate things, or become more impulsive, we can use the questions. Remember, questions are very powerful. Such journal prompts, not only they bring out the insights from inside us that lie beneath our awareness, they can also help us regulate the emotions that are at play, which actually lead us, which actually lead us into such situations. So the call to action for you here is make a note of these questions, pin them up, memorize them, put them wherever you think you would see them more often. Because if like me or anyone of our kind, or if someone is more impulsive in buying or you feel your emotions usually are at play when you go on purchasing things or buying things which you actually don't need, or get yourself into situations which are of no use, uh, costing you dearly, these two questions can, can really help you regulate not just your emotions, but also under, help you understand the deeper whys behind your need. Well, that's it for you, my friends, as on today. Thank you for your time, and I'll talk to you soon.